Okay, this is not working out. <laughs> I can't see my phone. Okay, if you can see me and I'm hoping nobody's coming on. I'm having issues with my phone. Let me step back. See, and what they wanted me to do, and I don't know if it worked, was to go live, but since it won't set on my phone, set it on the computer, which I have done. Oh my gosh, we do have somebody. Ryan, oh my gosh, Ryan and Jeff and Barbara. Okay, I'm not staying on. I'm seriously not staying on. What's going on is I cannot go live. They don't know why I've had. YouTube has put in like five hours on this. And today I'm calling Apple and seeing if they can figure it out. But we're like 100 degrees. No joke. So I'm just trying to get this ready so I can sit on the phone for three hours with Apple. And I can't read your comments. So I got to step back. My you know what? I have my screen set dark. That's what... Oh, ouch. Let's back up into a door. So anyways, we're going to be about 100. I, um, I can't say hi to everybody because I can't see. I literally, it's so bright outside. Yeah, it's working now, but here's the thing. What if I want to go live in the yard? Who's going to run up and go to the computer and then switch it on the computer? And that's the, the pain. Or what if I want to go to a nursery and go live? And they can't figure it out. Here, and it's not just my phone. It's my tablet, too. So anyways, it's hot. You see this? I'm going to have to say hello to everybody afterwards because I see some names. I see Joel. I see TR61. Um, I think that's Lorraine, Kate, Linda, Nina, Maddie, Jennifer. Wow. Wow. You shouldn't be here. There's nothing going on. Um, Led Zepp. Cleo? Anyways, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to kind of cut this. See, it's so hot. The birds are actually, I don't know where the birds are. Oh, they're on that window, and then they're on the other window. So now I've got to go and call Apple and see what fun stuff they are going to tell me, and if they can figure out why my phone is shut down and I cannot go live. i got to step back so I can see and say hello, and then I am going to say goodbye. Let's see. I don't want to miss anybody, really. I feel so bad. I didn't know. I said to them, I don't want to go on live and then not be able to stay on. They said, well, just see if you can switch it on the computer. Who's going to carry a desktop in their back pocket? <laughs> oh, gosh. And I can't do it either for my tablet. Wish you could have some of our Florida rain. Oh, we have no rain. I look at the plants. I feel so bad for the plants. So many big plants, you know, it's just so dry. You can only water so much. Uh, it's, still, it's still fun to watch me testing my phone. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. I wanted to work on a video. I got a new video on another fountain I made. Actually, two. Two fountains, I think. And then the water fountain. That's water fountains. The hummingbird feeders. Where is everybody? They are hiding. See, when we're 100 degrees, Oh, excuse me. When we're 100 degrees, nothing wants to be out. Even the plants look a little sad. A lot of the tomatoes dropped their leaves. But it's been hot. And we're going to be really, really hot, they say, until Sunday. And then, of course, there's fires not near us. But there still are fires. And so a lot is going on. Oh, well. So the fun thing now, I get to sit on the phone. I know everybody's got rain, but you're gonna, a lot of you guys are gonna have heat. You got your first hummingbirds yesterday, TR61. I really don't wanna miss anybody. Hi, B. Jordan. I wish I do have success in this. And then I got another message from YouTube this morning. Well, if you insist on not sending a screenshot, we can't help you. I said, what happened to the other 10 screenshots? I said, the problem is they're pushing me to different people. I keep sending them my phone number and say, can you simply call me? And maybe I can explain a little bit what I think is wrong. But no, I'm not going to call. So I'm going to call Apple. And the only thing is, the last time I was on the phone with Apple, they literally kept me on the phone for two hours. They were somewhat helpful. Uh, I think that's D-O-T-H. Would that be Dothy? Am I, spell, am I saying that right? 
and R-O, oh my gosh. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, Rylin, Rolin, um, Do Donna, like I said, I can't go through everybody. Oh, I just want to get my phone fixed so I can just grab my phone. I had a video that was stuck on it today, so I uploaded it, but you don't want to see any more dragon fruit. I know that. I just did it on dragon fruit, so I can upload it to YouTube, but I can't go live. I can go live in the house. That's why we did the hummingbirds for three hours last week, because they asked me to try to go on my desktop, and that worked out really good. Where are the birds? I know that the, all morning here, there were like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. No, it's the heat. See, it's quiet. You really are not going to see a lot of birds flying around right now. It's just too hot. There's, they're flying around the orange trees. They're probably hiding in the orange trees, and they go back and forth real quick to get a drink. And that's all they're going to do. And what I have to do is I'm going to make some extra hummingbird food today. And I'm going to freeze it in, as ice cubes. So when it's really hot, I'm going to step back out of the sun. When it's really hot, I can put the ice cubes. Thank you, Dawn. Uh, put the ice cubes in the feeder so it can stay cooler during the day. I know they're going to melt. But it will stay cool for a while and it does work so i'm going to make some hummingbird nectar but frozen oh just trying to grab something oh well yeah it does work you know if you're really hot just load it up with ice cubes and then fill up the you know top the rest don't not ice cubes that are made out of water you want to put ice cubes that were the nectar you made. And then that will keep the feeders cool for quite a while, really, quite a while. Oh my goodness. Denver, thank you for something I'm just testing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh boy, thank you, Denver. Thank you for the super chat. I'm trying to find names. I think I said hello to jo uh, Joel, Colleen, Experience Wonder. I hope I experience wonder when they fix my phone. And Hobby Woodworker. You know, that's what Gary said. He's got a, Gary's got a cheap old phone. His phone finally went and he got a flip phone and he wanted the cheapest because he said he carries it around. And he got a, um, that's a good question. I think it's an LG. But it's like, it costs like $119. And he, uh-oh, hold on, hold on. I've just figured out I got a cover over my, <laughs> I have a cover I made for my iPhone and I had it on. Sorry about that. I leave it on because I carry it in the garden and I don't want to ruin my lens. That probably looks a lot better now. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, another super chat. Ryan, thank you. Okay, now I gotta get you back. And I said thank you to Denver, thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I do all kinds of odd stuff. See, I took a piece of plastic and it tapes on to my to my case and this way I don't have to worry about messing up my lens and I do once in a while forget to take it off so I just forgot but he he wanted a cheap phone and I don't know how to use his it's an LG and it is so cheap but he loves it he can do everything with it but I'm having nothing but problems with Apple it could be a weird security thing in the phone and that's what I need to find out and so I'm going to go call them and see if I can get this thing taken care of so I can do some more lives uh oh I don't want to do that I want to see if I if there's anybody, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Susan, thank you for the super chat. This is actually embarrassing. <laughs> thank you so much. Trying to still see who else. Uh, oh, Susan, thank you so much. I look forward to having a phone that I can just hit the button and go live. I can do everything except go live. I can, the other day I did something, I think I put it up because it will stay unlisted. I can't even put it on for the membership. I can't do anything with it. So we'll see. I'm going to go. I was hoping the hummingbirds were going to come. They were here a little bit. I just filled those, but they're, they don't want to sit in the sun and I don't blame them. I do not blame them. No, they're not even at the feeders in the kitchen window. Not really. I'm going to take you through the house. Don't look, don't look. The house is a mess. Okay, let's walk through really, 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 really quick. You can see my mess. This is why I can't do my kitchen. I have a clutter. I really do want to do cooking. I seriously want to do cooking. But it's like, it's my cluttered mess because I know what, what everything is and where everything is. No, see, they're not even in the kitchen window. There's a few back there. 
That one's in the shade, so I like that feeder. It stays in the shade all day, and then that one back there stays in the shade. But what I'll do, now it's quiet, so I'm not gonna over worry about the birds because they're gonna be hiding out. They'll dart to get something to drink is what they'll do. It's an organized chaos. You know what? You're absolutely right. I was going to call my kitchen something like, uh, welcome to my clutter. But, uh, but it's true. I know where everything is. And when I move it, Gary said, well, why don't you just put it away? Because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And there's things I want to do. But I'm going to put ice cubes in there. See, these are big enough. You can't do it in all feeders. You cannot do it. These feeders are big enough that I can drop some ice cubes in there, and that's not a problem. Hi, um, I-R, is it L-R? It's probably I-R-I, -I. hi. Um, and so that's why I like these, because when you unscrew them, it's big enough to drop some ice cubes in. So I know I must have missed so many. Florence, hello. I don't even know where Gary is. I think he's working outside somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Rebecca. Oh, that's so funny. Travel. Uh, Colleen. Oh, Susan. I said, thank you, Susan. See, now they're coming. See, this is a table I work on. I'm going to cut these apart. I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm trying to figure out, I need to make myself a two system or at least a compost bin and, and everything is just too what, too big. So I'm thinking of cutting these apart and putting these together, and then I can close it. I know it makes no sense. Oh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. And yay, yay, orchid. Yaya yeah, yeah, orchid, hello. And Sheena, hello. So I'm getting, you'll see if I make it. I was going to work on that today. Oh, now they're all coming in. See, they come in spurts, and then they dart back to the trees. But I'm right now I don't have to worry about Gary? Yes. You've got me on? Yes. Okay, well now when I call Apple, I can tell them, yes, I can go online as long as I can get onto the computer and switch it to live. Okay, there's a... Okay, getting those super chats. I know, and I, uh, uh, Jessica you. just gave us super... Gary's yelling, thank you. I thought you were outside. And... I'm going to sit for a second in my mess. Yeah, yeah, orchid in Texas. We have termites too. I don't want to talk about termites. <laughs> but they're not affected by the wood chips. The wood chips are really too small for the termites to want to utilize. They prefer larger pieces of wood. And we've got subterranean termites. But I wouldn't put the wood chips up against your house because you don't want to create a bridge for the termites to move under the wood chips. But you might have different termites too. I think you might have, let's see, the um, Formosan termites. I don't know anything about those, but I know about the Western subterranean termites. I can't see through the screen. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was I touched something and then everything goes. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, so she's thanking you for your answer on yep. the termites. Well, the termites we have love to go into wood and make their homes inside wood. They inside can't use wood chips, piece. yeah. And after the wood chips are sat for a while, they start to break down and rot, and termites like wood that isn't rotting. They don't, they don't like the rotting wood, at least the termites in North America. Um, hobby woodworker you know next time you have a tree collard or anything and you think it's dying you know whatever is happening to it you can actually do cuttings really quick from it and i did that on my big big tree collard i didn't think they would live because they were really bad and they did live the cuttings so try to get cuttings and anytime you get a uh a new plant going, if you can do cuttings, do some cuttings so you always have one. Even if you gave it to a friend, you always know where to run back and get some more. Kelly says, hearts. Okay, well, I'm going to go call Apple and see if they can figure out why I cannot go live. Because I want to go live. I think it'd be nice to do roundtables. So we all, let's say, sometimes we talk about totes, 
Sometimes we can, okay, now I don't know what it's doing. Um, sometimes we can have a round table, let's say on hummingbirds. Like a lot of you have been saying you've got bees. See, I have no bees, but let me tell you something. There are times I have bees. So I've got, okay, I've got to make a liar out of myself. There it is. I've got one feeder out here right now. See the little slits? <laughs> Sheena, hi. Um, I don't like the ones with the little slits. I mean, see, the food does come out. It's still good. The hummingbirds aren't thrilled about it, but here's the thing. Maybe I have to put a clip there so the hummingbirds don't come in. Humbug. Putting a banana, I missed that. I'm putting a, oh gosh, every time I touch something, I get something else. The bees cannot get into those. This is an exclusive. I act, like I said, I've called the company. This design is an exclusive. And you can't buy that anywhere but Walmart. But they're only like $3 and what, 80 cents if that. They designed it, even though I talked to the company, they weren't happy with the holes and the hummingbirds aren't that thrilled, but they will use it. So if this place ends up with bees and I've had this happen before, then what I do is I swap them out to the ones that don't have the larger holes. Either I made them larger or I bought them larger and then they can still feed not happily, but they can feed. And then within a day or two, the bees are gone. You will, Kelly, when you leave, you will have to start over if it's not in the same neighborhood. But you know what? Don't worry about it because they will, once they know that there's food all the time, they'll come. So see, they're using the one back there. Oh, yeah. Well, just try whatever you can do. Just put out feeders and, and everything. All right. I want to thank everybody for the super chats. That was a surprise. I want to thank everybody for coming in. Wish me luck that I don't lose my mind on the phone with Apple. Actually, Apple's been really, really good. I didn't call them on this because I thought it was actually a YouTube issue, but I don't know. Replace the 18 gallon totes. Oh, do you know I keep hitting the wrong button? Uh, okay, I missed something about the totes you were saying. Okay, they disappeared again. My, my messages are going through so quickly. Um, you, Apple has been really, really good. I just am afraid they're going to make me reboot the phone to start. They're going to have to do the same thing on my iPad, iPad because I can't go on with the iPad either. And I don't know if Gary can because he's not. you're not logged in to YouTube on your phone yet. No, no you're not signed in. I don't want to use a, that phone for live. It doesn't have a good camera. This one's got a really good camera. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. I'm going to go call Apple and I'm going to tell them that I have to turn it on live by hand and then that's the only way it can go on. You have the same ones and you still ended up with bees? That's almost impossible because the thing is the bees can't reach it unless you've got unusual bees. They have to have, you know, be able to reach the, the, um, food. You may have to try a different type of feeder with the yellow flowers that stick out where the bees can't get to it. You just will have to try different things. I don't use mint in there. I don't put anything in there because you don't want the hummingbirds. And besides, keep in mind, I had a bumblebee chase me around the yard yesterday. I had a cup of coffee that I put my mint tea in and I had coffee with the mint tea and he was chasing me around the yard because the bees like mint. So with that, I'm going to go work this out. And like, like Sharon said, don't worry, it will work out. It will. I just hope I don't have to buy a new phone. No, I don't think I'll go that far. This is a new phone. And I hope and get this thing going. So everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for giving me confidence that I'm going to get this fixed. And I am confident I will get this fixed one way or another. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. John, Johnny says hello. He just got here. Okay, Johnny, we're going to go. I got to go fix my phone and get on the phone and probably be two hours on the phone with Apple. So I'm trying to see if I missed it. I'm sure I did. Hello, Karen. Mary Ann. They're all talking about their feeders. I'm, I'm just seeing real quick if there's anybody. I'm sure there is. There's so many here. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we... Oh, keep hitting something and it keeps doing something and we're going to go well I'm going to go sit on the phone with maybe I'll put a video together while I'm on hold with Apple have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow 
Bye-bye.